Mikey is probably going to be near enough down at Dover, so chat to you soon. This, this section of the road is pretty much piss easy because whenever I've came to Brands Hatch, this is basically the same road you come down for Brands Hatch and the next junction here, and you see the brown sign just appearing here now in fact, with a Brands Hatch on it. So that would be the way I would go if I was going to cover the touring cars or whatever else I was doing in the past. So we're just carrying on down. You'll see up in the sign here we have the Channel Tunnel and Dover for the ferry. So this time at least I am taking the ferry. I might take the tunnel in the future, but uh, because of all the driving I've done yesterday and then again today, I decided to get the ferry. And that way I can sit in Mars for a couple of hours while the ferry's going across the water. But it is damn windy and it's been wet a good bit of the way down here so far. So I'm kind of hoping that the wind dies down before I hit the channel. But I really don't like it well, so it's probably going to be a bit of a rough crossing. Okie dokie! Check it out! The big bit of blue, because that's the sea. I'm almost down to the English Channel now, and as you can see, the rain is on. Joy, oh joy, and it's windy as hell. So the crossing's going to be great fun, but I'm only about 5-10 uh, minutes from the terminal now, so I will see you on the boat. Getting close now, getting to the departure terminal and everything else here in Dover. You can see the white cliffs up behind you, well a wee bit of them. There's a big castle away up there which you can't see anymore, but it was too slow getting the camera out. Well, hello from Dover. That's me all checked in, sitting in the uh, queue of traffic, as you can see, waiting for the boat. Originally, I was meant to be on the 10 past 3 boat, but uh, the guy at the check in there has got me on the 145 boat. I've made the check in by about 5 10 minutes. So it means I get over there a little bit earlier. So 145, it's probably going to be half 4, 5 o'clock by the time I get over there, and then a 3 hour drive. So by 8 o'clock tonight, I should hit Aachen and get checked in at the hotel. And sign off, finally. Alrighty. Hey guys, so for all of you fuckwits that have never ever left Ireland, Scotland, or wherever the fuck you live, welcome to France. What you see out there is, well, what you don't really see out there is Cali. Which I'm just waiting to get off the boat here now, and then head up. And there's some proof. We're in the Land of mad fucking water, French fuckers, and people that eat fucking frogs. Okie dokie, so I'll give you a wee fucking update on route. Well hello and welcome to part one of driving inside mainland Europe. Today's topic is France. And the main thing you have to remember is we're driving on the other side of the fucking road. So if you're a retard and drive like you do back home in the UK, you're going to get yourself fucking killed in no time. So, remember that. Also, remember that the speed limits are in kilometers, just like down south in Ireland. So, hey, I'm used to that shit already. So, here's 120 miles worth of uh, motorway here to get me up towards the Belgian border. Once I get through the Belgian border, it's then make my way for Germany and in the Aachen. So I'll probably get back to you around about Belgium. Okie dokie! Okay, well, you had the Welcome to France earlier, and now we're going to play a wee game of Welcome to Belgium. Hey, the Belgian border! Woohoo! Rock on! So, um, what am I allowed? I'm allowed 120 kilometers an hour. A bit poofy because I've been doing 130. But they will need to do what they say. Okie dokie! So I've now reached the, the dodgy annoying bit of the road, which unfortunately is the fucking Brussels Ring Road, which has us all pretty much at a standby. So you can sort of see top left hand corner there is a the big Brussels bit where we're going to go around the Ring Road. Absolute pain in the arse, and it's going to take me probably about an hour to get through the outskirts of Brussels here before I can continue on my way towards Germany. So, great fun and the weather's pish as well. <laughs> I'm 
for those that actually followed all the places that we went with John 44 over the last few years, we, every January we would head over for the, the Brussels International European Motor Show. And where I am right now, on the outskirts of Brussels, is pretty much where you would go to get to that. Take a wee sink and focus here. The sign up ahead there is Expo and you'll see the ball thing on the left hand side, the five balls, which is some weird thing that some guy made years and years ago. <laughs> I could be really descriptive over it, but who gives it to us? So right now I am still on the ring road. Um, on the ring road here, trying to stay on E40, heading towards Antwerp and Luke. Um, Charleroi Airport, where we would normally fly into here, you just cut off to the right here. But uh, the exhibition centre is just over to the right as well. So, really interesting. I know I've probably sent you out to sleep for now, but get it right up here. And for those out there that either are semiconductor minded or whatever, Leuven up on the sign there is where iMac is. Um, if you've read my blog from when I was out in July or June and July, then you might even recognize the name, but a lot of boring bullshit there for you. Well done! So, slowly but surely getting there, um, and underneath the random eco duct kick peak, whatever the fuck this is there for, although we're getting us under the fucking wee hill. Um, I'm now about 50, 50k, at, so about 35 miles from Aachen itself. Uh, I'm starting to see it in the signposts, even though they've spelt it the Dutch or the, the Belgian Dutch type way with A-K-E-N instead of double -A A-C-H-E-N, the way I'm used to it, but I'm getting there. So almost there now, on a home straight. We're now coming to the border of Belgium and Holland. So there we go, the signpost there on the right saying Netherlands or Netherland. It's where fucking Ned Flanders lives. <laughs> so as you can see now the signpost uh, at the top we have again. So not far to go now, 30k and I should be pretty much in the centre of Aachen. So another 25 minutes or so. Okie dokie. There we go, we're now entering Germany. Woo! Something I just actually realised is that that's me now been in five countries in one day. So we started off in England, we went into France, in through Belgium, up through Holland, and now we're in Germany. So no bad going. So next time I'll see if I can do the what seven eight hour drive down from Scotland and get that in as well, so we can do six countries in one day. So anyway, I will no doubt speak to you from the hotel room. Well, hello from the Mercure Hotel in Aachen. Um, basically, sitting on Perestras, which is right on the main street of Aachen. Um, we'll see if I can actually show you where I am. Through the door. can kind of see the main street through there. Um, that's Perestras, which takes you, just if you follow the other direction, it takes you into the pedestrian area. And on the other side of the hotel is where the big market square is and the massive big town hall. So got here fairly not bad, no no real trouble bar the Brussels Ring Road. Um I was here for around nine PM so a couple of hours I've been here now. So I have been out and grabbed myself a wee subway, managed to sort of start unpacking. There's just some of the stuff out of the case that I need and so on. The likes of the laptop and the phones and crap like that. Just um, stuff I'm gonna need the first thing tomorrow. I'll deal with the rest of it after work tomorrow night. Um, so grab the quick subway and of course you can't go without the beer. Gotta get some beer in there. So I'm gonna sign off for now and that is the end of my blog for the, the trip from Blantyre to Aachen. Alrighty, ta-ra.